Hello, and welcome back to Panty the Geeks. You join us again for another Crisis Pro Core Miniatures unboxing. Today we have one of the old sets that we've not put together, which is the Vision and Winter Soldier. So all it's not even in this wrapper anymore. <laughs> um, and the box has been battered around a little bit, should we say? Yeah. Um, the back of the box just gives you the till the end of the line little tagline for some reason. I'm not sure why the Winter Soldier and Vision will particularly be packaged together. No, no, just nope. different. So we shall open this up. Those up. So uh, we have uh, the cardboard. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to show the cardboard? Out? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fancy cardboard. Yeah. So we have uh, this. I would believe would be the vision. Yep. Not a lot of parts actually. That's cool. Um, also, it should be easy to put together. Mm -hmm. And then we have our bases. We've got four again. So, mm -hmm. Cool. And then we have one soldier. Should be on that. So let's have a look at the instructions and see who's first. Looks like it's the one soldier. Okay. Something like that. So we'll close the end to cut the man off a little screw. So we can have a look at the cards we get out of this. Got our obligatory uh, tokens, some Avengers tokens, some Blood Angels tokens for some reason. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and then some like weird tokens. And then eventually we get these out. And so we have um, field dressing, which is unaffiliated till the end of the line. Uh, we have a psychic shielding device. Why is so much shadow on the camera? Mm. And we have tactical analysis. Then we have vision card. Focus camera, focus. Sorry about that. I'm in soldier. There we go. Uh, bear in mind, as always, these aren't the newest of boxes we've got, um, and I do know that the cards have been updated in some ways. So for the latest stuff, I always go to the AMB site and you can have a look see if there's been any updates to these cards. Uh, and these cards as well. Right. Okay. Okay, so we need, these aren't numbered, so two body parts though. To start with. And then we have his robotic arm. He should be holding the gun, shouldn't he? Uh, yes. So. No, there's a little bit of a uh, sprue left on that. That's why it's not going there. Try again. There we go. And then we have, uh, what's next? You've got the gun part, which seems really odd to have and not his other arm. Mm -hmm. that bit. Right. Um, that's the other part of the arm if you need it to line to it be up. Fair, I think. I'd rather put that on first. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Makes no sense. There we go. And then put the 
get on. Show the mother with a gun. Quite few and far between though. They are actually, yeah. I suppose most superheroes just rely on pummeling each other. Pummeling each other with things. Yeah. The fists or or powers like or sorry? Scenery like magnetic. Or scenery like magnetic. Yeah. So he's got a knife on his back. Yeah. Right? That's right, yeah. There's a little car at the section on the back. I think he might have one on his leg as well. I think. Must go like that. And then this bit's on his leg. Is that right? Is that the wrong way around? It does look like it might be the wrong way around. Where's this other bit? I don't know if that... Just put the other bit. It's hard to see which one's which. Oh, that's why. It is that bit. Oh yeah, it's hard to see which one's which on the... Well, one's got a gun and one hasn't. So it's the one without the gun that goes on this side. Isn't that all the facts, is it? No, there was another bit. <laughs> I didn't know. There we go. Right. Uh, so the gun goes on this gap on the, above the leg. Not above the leg, so in the leg. And that way the gun can go the right way around, which makes a lot more sense. There we go. Uh, so we've got his head Ooh, and his legs. And he's got an extra knife as well. So. How many knives? I don't know. Maybe he needs quite a few. What's he making up for? I'm saying nothing. If this is an arm, I would have seen. Why were you thinking? <laughs> well, in a movie sense, I'm getting used to the idea of Sebastian Stan playing uh, Luke Skywalker if they do do that. The uh, Grogu and. Yeah. Kroger and Lucha. <laughs> I'm warm to the idea. Although I did see um, the uh, one of my news feeds that they were saying that um, rather than having anyone else play uh, Luke, could yeah. they not do an animated series and just get Mark no, I said to that. voice it? You said that, but it was after you'd said that that I saw it. <laughs> I said that ages ago. There we go. Uh, it doesn't just show you the knife going on, does it? I'm just wondering if it's because, in case you lose that one, it's like a spare. I don't know. Yeah. Just, mm, it's dropped into no reason. Uh, he's just gone to sleep. Um, oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's glued together. That proved that. Thanks, gravity. Uh -oh. but yeah, there's not really anywhere to fit the knife. so. That's fine, I'll put it in the... I think uh, it might just be a spare, just yeah. in case. So that is the Wind Soldier, we need to stick him on a base, um, and then we can start on the view. There's the finished Wind Soldier. Oh, wait, that's Luke Skywalker. Uh, there's the finished Wind Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I thought well, yesterday to... I thought Tom of Henry rolled in a lightsaber. <laughs> well, um, so... Onto the vision, we have this little wall here. So we have his foot sticking out the back of the wall as he's phasing through it, mm -hmm. which is a nice little effect. That is quite cool. Actually. Yeah. yeah. And then we next we want to add the body on. So, we have the back of his leg go on to this little bobble. Yeah, 
So it goes on like that. And then we have his cloak. It's quite a cool effect the way he sort of threw the. Yeah, he's kind of floating through it. Yeah. yeah. And then we put the cloak on. So you could paint the vision really, really easily, just dip him in white and. Which just... dim is the, the vision. Yeah. On there, I would have thought. Ah, yeah. So you gotta leave a. Yeah, it's just the angle is hot. There's little gaps there for the arms to go in. So I'm gonna let that set before we move on. So there we go. So the next thing to do is to put the arms and head on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should have left a bit higher, it does. There we go. Sometimes I just use the glue to sort of like hold it a bit. Just sort of melt the area around it. There we go, with the arm. And the head. And then we have this bit here which goes on to the front of this debris and to help it stand up. Like that. And we'll finish vision. Should stick him on his base. Yeah. Any preference? Anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah. Actually, it just looks like he's dropping the cup, doesn't it? It's dropped his cup. Just like drop, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> Finish my drink. Dropping it there. Yeah. I don't care about the because I'm an Android. There we go. Unfinished vision. And unfinished winter soldier. For real. Cool. Uh, those were quite easy to put together, actually. Mm. Um, Very and, straightforward. And definitely on the easy side. Yeah. Uh, so, in the next video, we're going to be doing the Black Panther and Killmonger, which is one of my sets. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe and hopefully see you again soon. See you soon. Bye for now.